from my genitals to yours. non pimpin' huggy bear. We laymen have always been curious to know, like the cardinal who put a similar question to Ariosto, from what source is non pimpin' huggy bear draws his inwardly riven non pimpin Time, being but a whisper on the lips of mystery, affords us a slim chance of crossing a huggy bear who is singing kitty limericks about kitty implements with a pimp who is two red bulls past the event horizon as a tsunami of quickie mark fantasy scenarios spins an ocean of pale blue pee that looks like Jarvis Cocker, non-pimp in the Unabomber's father, selling sausage to my grandmother. Obviously, only non-pimp and Huggy Bear knows that when the soul selects its own drunken booty electric black Betty Lando Lake's butter squaw, it also selects an upside-down Dylan cluster-fucking Rush Limbaugh's frayed old lady bra under a touch table until all the good shit is gone. Bamalam. <laughs> When I consider a blissful, non-pimpin' existence, Maverick, starring Mel Gibson, comes to mind. Collapsing time and vaunting the tedium of shoplifting for Jesus into a non-pimpin' dolphin rim job, grooving with the vaginal contractions of Southern-style executions, and foolish with intelligence, or the lack of it. The poor non-pimpin' dolphin is just trying to plug the hole in the dike with Dracula's zombie fluid that tastes like hobo balls. He does not think dishonestly. He knows the way is in training. He is debauched prettily by the sexy germplasm secretary of poetry. When the germplasm wants to swim, it makes itself a dolphin. When it wants to fly, it makes itself a bird. When it wants to go to Harvard, it makes itself a two-dogging broad parody of a working-class Polak bum-rushed by wonder. Like idiot children inbreeding in a basement, the feeling of non pimp and mad rapture on a mossy stained mattress is as lucent to the dolphin as the frenetic effusion of Cary Grant licking his lips in anticipation of Tylenol signs, shining from the dark dream surface below, and collecting like confetti in the cleft palate of Kelly Ripa's camel toe. <laughs> okay, so there are no dolphins sucking lumberjacks in Flagstaff. The shock of seeing a huge dolphin coming at you with a mouth open to bite is not a pleasant or normal experience. Like someone from the gnome community trying to run a train on Celine Dion. <laughs> and by the way, I haven't even begun to create drama between Celine Dion and Elton John with my the JJ, which remains a subtle navigation between the elegant skilla of reserved non-flounciness and the cheap charybdis of degrading stretch denim. And while we're on the subject, I never said that Anne Frank was the dolphin whore of Babylon. So shut the hell up, you haters. <laughs> on a beach, covered in dog slobber and left outside in the rain. That's how hypnotizing chickens happens. <laughs> I've been feeling so Jewish since I got parted at Walmart that now my nickname is Feeling Jewish in Walmart. Obviously, I need a plan. A plan comparable in scope to a bent pilot fucking God's own warm seasonal pud cake. A plan that is touching, poignant, profound, and a brother to every other Boy Scout's gay barrette. I don't want to eat burritos and read about OJ choking giraffes on a bagel honeymoon of head brushes anymore. I only need 15 minutes of huffing to achieve a renewing glee evergreen. When Rick Warren, with his cream cheese covered teeth, said Sasha at the inaugural, it sounded like the evangelical Klingon equivalent of Captain Beefheart's trout balls. In other words, a perfect bird strike of ka-ching moments. Coxman and Adonis of Vatican Donuts, he personally regurgitated the first woman to end the Israeli-Palestinian conflict with her uterus. Sadly, it just ended up being Lance Bass stuck in a traffic jam. In other words, Prop 8 with jazz hands. <laughs> Despite being so closely associated with Kelly Ripa's camel toe, Huggy Bear's non-pimpin' man clip gets a boner just from looking at Axl Rose. Granted, a man clip boner isn't the most professional of boners, but thank God Jesus loves us no matter where we go. 
And didn't we learn from Washoe the chimp that if Jesus had a man clit, it would be wet? That was one fucking pure teaching moment. <laughs> Question. Which man clit is a whorish Ragnarok onesie with teeth? Which is a headless Ewok made of rabies? Which will fight Osama in a peppermint jihad of wiggly fun? Mine, of course. My man clip was once a dolphin in a punk t-shirt hooked on screwed up scenarios. That's how it became the esteemed cultural figure it is today. <laughs> if only one could discover within one's own man clip a non-pimpin' activity, which was in some way akin to non-pimpin' Huggy Bear's fantasies of plastering the walls with a still vigorous strand of utterly flux subjectivity in plain English with normative syntax. One might finally arrive, surprised and satisfied, at the non-pimpin' huggy bear of one's own being, which is a BFF to Hitler's heavy hedgehog's split personality. Once so adorned, the whole world might awake, like night and its stars, all cuddly-like, in the arms of the emo trees. <laughs>